everybody, this is Anime Game Otaku95. Last episode, I got caught by having my fade going all crazy each time the enemies beat me silly. And each time I get beat up by my enemy, my fade meal will go down. And, well, in order to have, have myself fixed, I have to go beat up Antro Kronos, who was planning to go destroy the floating city of the stone people. And after I managed to defeat him, I managed to get my fate back to normal. And now, I'm going to go visit the, the floating city one last time because there the, are the other side mission that has been added since I defeated that evil stone guy on the corner. So, what's going to happen next? Let's go play. Okay, looks like someone has a side mission. Hark. That face, so soft and flush. It is none other. The hero of the festival. The harbinger of joy. The beckoned has come in my hour of need. I'm preparing for a production of my latest masterpiece, The Humble. In the city in revelry, there is no better time to launch the show. But I have been struggling to cast the performance. And it would be beyond sacrilege for me to do so when you are so close. Please, will you channel your divinity and tell me who Athene would have play my characters? Okay, I'll see what I can do. I expected no less from the Beckoned. I have narrowed my list of candidates to three performers. They are all of splendid tragedy and quality. But I shall require you to cast them in the proper roles. Their names are Rode, Ariope, and Zodicus. Seek them out and take this manuscript. It contains all the information you need to cast the play. Excellent. Who have you cast in the role of the hero? Okay, I haven't talked to any of those people, so I'm gonna go with. Very well. And what about the role of the villain? I will admit that is rather unexpected, but very well. What about the role of the Jotun? Interesting choice. I believe that completes the cast. Thank you for all you have done, Beckoned. Farewell. Okay, and I can forget quest without even talking to the yes. other people. Okay, anyways, there's someone else with the side mission. Beckoned, I have been hoping to speak with you since I heard of all you have done for our people. I have a task for you. One no one else in the city can perform. We have a plant in this city, the Evan Root. It was brought with the utmost care from our homeland. There was a special tender for the Evanroot, but he has passed. No colossi but the tender or his heir can care for the plant, so tradition dictates. The heir is en route to our city, but the Evanroot will die if it is not tended, and the heir is weeks away. Okay, I guess I'll perform a ritual. Oh, thank the gods. I have been at my wit's end for days trying to devise some way of appeasing all parties. It has not been easy. To water the Ebon Root, you will require spring water from Njordur's font. This water is outside the city, along with the vessel to carry the water. Find this vessel, the Amphora, and fill it with water from the font. Then bring the water to the plant and tend it. It is located in Njordur's font. Find it, and fill it with the spring water. Be careful outside, Idilla. Okay, time to talk to that theater guy and see how the play is going. Beckoned, you're here. You cast the production wonderfully. Please, take this. Just a small token of my appreciation. Though... I do have a final favor to ask of you. My narrator has failed to appear for her part. 
you must perform the final scene with me in her stead. When you hear the cue for the messenger, head onto the stage. Quickly, read the end of the manuscript I gave you. The messenger simply imparts the ending of the story to the audience. Remember, the play is largely improvisational. Just speak with the knowledge you have of our people. As the beckoned, you are sure to succeed in this. Oh well. Ah, uh, okay. I am eager to learn the fate of our dear hero. There you are. What word do you bring? What of the hero and the stalwart Jotun? Uh, I'm gonna put. I don't like the wall. You what? I. We cannot all choose our roles in life, messenger. Nor can we control the delivery of things as much as we'd like. What? Uh, what has happened to the Jotun? Uh, should I have a costume? That's... I'm sure we can find you some clothes, messenger. I... Uh... Did he say anything else? Uh, I look ridiculous. What was that? You say the hero has decreed that our people should be known no longer as the Myru. What then? What should we be called? The Colossi, you say? Oh, it is a good name. It sounds of a boulder crushing our enemies. Very well. We should go, messenger. Tomorrow is a new day for us all. Okay, that was a ridiculous play. I didn't even get to wear a costume or anything. I will admit, Beckon, that first, I was enraged. I believed you had ruined my play. But the audience loved it. Thanks to your performance, they are convinced I have made a shift to writing comedies. <laughs> it would be an interesting change of pace, I suppose. Regardless, you are the Beckoned. And I have troubled you for your time. Take this ring as a token of my appreciation. Farewell. Okay, there's another side mission on the contact board. Let me see. Huh, there's only one. Okay. Oh, there's another person with a side mission. What lies below is seen above. On this day, I see you. I am the Oracle of Idila, Halidite, and I bear a message for you. It comes from the gods. With the Hyperion raised, my powers of divination are at their strongest. A new era comes. But as it does, the Marauders have worked grim magics that must be undone. Hmm, okay. Built into this city and these lands are circles of sacrifice made by the marauders and the fallen of our kind. They are an affront to our gods. My insights show that should the guardians of these circles be killed, the gods will leave great rewards for the ones that will help. Your abilities are great, and so is the reward offered. Face the first circle, the altar of doubt. You will locate a sacrificial altar and dispose of the creatures that appear. They are the guardians of these circles. There are three sacrificial altars. The altar of doubt, the altar of betrayal, and the altar of regression. Return to me after you make a sacrifice at each one, and I will divine the location of a reward the gods deem fit for your labor. The Altar of Doubt is your first step in the journey. We must have faith in that which we cannot see or know, to truly start to trust in our gods. Be well this night. Okay, I need to go to here.
And I need to collect some Alfina or something. Uh oh! Go fill up. Now I think you go return to the city. But first I need to go do some other assignments in here, so Okay for the other side mission there I need to go locate the altar of doubt and I need to go kill a creature so I'm gonna hurry and go do it. Hey! Okay, I guess I need to go return to the article and she'll tell me the next location of the auto. Okay, I need to attend. Uh... Okay, now I need to talk to him. You have watered the ebon root. Thank you, friend. I can finally set aside the burden of this work. Without you, the ebon root surely would have died before the heir arrived. Please take this ring for your part in helping me. And by way of advice, there is a wild variant of ebon root in these lands. Water them like you did this one, and the rewards may be of use. There is a wild variant of the ebon root that grows throughout the teeth of Naros. You should be able to harvest them, but they will need water from the amphora, just as the main ebon root did. Since they are wild, they require less water. But after harvesting a few, you will have to refill the Amphora to continue. Be careful outside, Idilla. The justice you have brought to the Altar of Doubt pleases the gods. They have graced me with a vision of where to claim your due. Once you retrieve your reward, you will be able to move on to the next sacrifice at the Altar of Betrayal. Speak with me once more when you have made another sacrifice, and I will divine the location of another reward. The Altar of Betrayal is the second step in the journey. If one is not loyal to their beliefs, they will not have the strength to defend themselves. Good day. Okay, it looks like it's found a defined reward. Okay, and now I need to go find the altar of betrayal, and it's right there. So I guess I have to go walk all the way over there. Okay, I found the altar of betrayal, so. Before I go back to the surface, I need to... I need to go over there and run the sewage, so... Okay, there it is. So, what do I do? Do I just run one and... Oh! I bet one! I bet I get distracted by anything. If I get distracted, I'll lose some time, and I'm gonna lose a time one, and I'm gonna be so mad. So, no distractions. Just keep running. Do not get distracted by anything. Not even if there's an emergency or not even if there's any real items nearby. So, no distractions. Uh, come on, come on. 
Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. Just keep running, no distractions, and don't get stopped by the spiders. Ah, no! Come on, come on, come on. Ah, no, 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 no! Okay, I still got time. Just keep running. Ah, come on, where'd I go, where'd I go, where'd I go? Oh, I still got time. Just jump, 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 jump! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. A finish line! Come on, 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 come on. Oh no! Oh no, did I did I win or I don't know, let me go check the quest. Oh okay, I managed to win! Oh for a second though I thought I missed it all at the last minute. Okay, time to tone in the contacts. Well done, Beckett. You've set a record few might hope to beat. Take the prize. You've earned it. Yeah, it was really a hard race. I did mention that you have to make sure you don't get distracted by anything. Okay, I finished uh, our tour of betrayal. Smile once more. They have another reward left for your troubles, and I have divined its location. Once you retrieve your reward, you will be able to move on to the last of these heinous circles, the Altar of Regression. Speak with me again when you have purged these foul magics, for the gods will make the location of their true gift known. The sacrificial altar of regression is the final step in the journey. It is meant to dispel the wisdom we have gained. From faith stems loyalty, and through loyalty wisdom is earned. Until we meet again, Okay, the next to find reward is right here. And now the auto, the final auto is right here. So let's go over there. Okay, here's the final auto. Okay, now let's go back to the article. Thank you for your dedication. The gods have divined the location of the final gift to me. You have proved your faith and loyalty to us, and derived great wisdom from these trials. Collect this last, rare item, and be at ease. The old ways have been treated with reverence due. Okay. Okay, the final defined reward is right here. And I complete the mission. Yay! Okay, someone has a side mission. Nice to see you, my child. I hope all is going well for you this day. I have a request. A selfish one, but you have any spare time? Well, it's Brother Padrick. He's a friend of mine. He left about a year's time ago in search of adventure. Said the monk's life was too bland for his tastes. He mentioned hearing about a treasure only found through a hidden exit from Split Rock Depths. That he might find it if he camped in Haxi for a bit. But, such a long time has passed and no word from him. I'm terribly worried, and I thought you might... Well, you could check up on him for me. Nah, uh, okay. May Tharu's blessings upon you, child. Bless you. Thank you so much. My mind is already at ease knowing you would take on this charge. If it helps, 
I would begin your search at Split Rock Depths. It is the only place he had mentioned by name. Towards Haxi and into Split Rock Depths. Begin your search for him there. Good day. Okay, before I do that, I need to go... Wait, what's in this box? Okay, before I go do that, I need to go inside a bunkhouse and go talk to the other brother priest or something. I think you should be upstairs. Oh! Is he dead? Is he dead or knocked out? Well, I'm guessing I have to go talk to the other police outside, so... Welcome to St. Edric's. You're here to meet with Father Eter, yes? The Father's always playing host to interesting individuals such as yourself. His quarters are on the second floor of the Mission Bunkhouse. Most of his days are spent inside working on his research. I don't understand a word of it. Yeah, about that, he got murdered. No, I, I knew that they were arguing, but I never imagined that it would lead to... to murder. It's enough to make a man question his faith. Father Eter and his apprentice brother Wolf, they were inseparable, like a true father and son. It was a shared love of alchemy that brought them together. But since their work repairing the village well, they've been acting tense, even hostile. Just this morning, I saw Eter fetching water. But now, he, he's gone. Mitharu, save us all. You're free to search the bunkhouse. Please, if you can shed any light on this tragedy, we'll do all we can to assist you. Father Eter and his apprentice has conducted many experiments. He had a strong interest in alchemy and the magic of other aces. There's proof of it everywhere. Goodbye. Okay, I'm guessing I have to go back inside the bunkhouse and go check if there's any evidence or I need to look for some important items I need to get. Okay, let's see. You found a mysterious empty case that holds a trace of red crystal dust from whatever was housed inside on the front. It's a label that reads, Crystal from the Rare Vacation. Okay, so let me go check if there's anything upstairs. Oh, they sent to the well, missing well. Okay, I'm guessing I, it's time for me to get out of this house. Okay, before I move on to the well, there's some people, some side missions that I need to talk to, so... Well, it's always nice to see a passerby. You're the traveler I'm waiting for, eh? Shall we get to business? Yes, I was recently contacted by Star Camp about selling the daggers, which I acquired at considerable risk and expense. So I think it's fair that I change the deal. I want to be paid in full up front. Then I'll notify you where the daggers can be recovered. That said, you can pay me now. And this can all be over with. Hmm. Okay, now let's be reason, boy. I suppose you're right. I'd rather not get on the bad side of the travelers. I can part with the daggers for half of what I was originally asking. Okay, then here's your money. Wait. Are you serious? I, I mean, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. I hid the daggers in the she. There's a map in my strong box upstairs. You can unlock it with this key and claim the toothpicks. Hidden in the she. The key you bought off me unlocks my chest upstairs. In there's the map that will lead you to the daggers. Goodbye. Okay, in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go talk to other people. Welcome to our haven in the Shi. I am Citric Vorm. 
My brother Arhaus and I give assistance to any wayfarer that may need it. Hmm. You look a lot more hearty than the sort we typically get here. You might be able to help me. We've had several visitors from Detir tell us that they were savagely ambushed by brownies. Unusual. Brownies of the Shi are not that aggressive. They mostly keep to themselves and only attack when approached. If there is indeed a group of brownies ambushing travelers, then those monsters need to be taken care of. Okay. Good. I'll see that you are rewarded for your efforts. I still have trouble believing those brownies would be so aggressive. Most unusual. If there are indeed a group of brownies attacking people, then you must put a stop to it. Follow the trail to Detir. It is in the southern Shi. Find the brownies, get rid of them. See you later. Welcome to our lodge. Surprised you made it out here by yourself. The Shi is a dangerous place. Luca Soren, the poor soul in the next room. She did not fare so well. She was attacked by a thresh. Normally a fatal encounter in and of itself. Barely managed to make it here before passing out. That wasn't enough. She's had a rare reaction to the thresh's usually benign venom. The only thing that will save her is a rare plant found in the she. But I cannot venture out to get one. You will? Well, if you manage to bring me one, I'll reward you with what I can. I've heard that Seerstalk grow near flowing, misting water, so you might try following the river north. I thought I heard the roar of waterfalls when I once wandered up there. I didn't go far enough to find out. The she, you know. The Seerstalk is supposed to grow near flowing, misting water. Follow the river to the northern she. I'm sure I've heard waterfalls in the distance. I shall see you later. Okay, time for me to get out of here. Okay, time to descend the mission well. I wonder what's in there. Eh, probably filled with monsters and let's see. Okay, I'm guessing I'm gonna go travel all the way to there. go look for the missing crystals so Uh oh. Kill C disabled. There you go. Okay, one of the guys getting away. Want to go chase after him? Got him. Oh, 
Okay, I got the crystal, so time for me to get down. Ah! What's this bubbly thing? Oh, I get to look for the items on the wall too. Nice. Come on. go. Come on. Looks like I see someone and... Wait, he's barely moving. Is he alive? Stay back. I don't know who you are or how you found me, but you will not have the crystals. They are mine. Do, 
You killed Final All Star. I had no choice. He was trying to destroy the crystals. He didn't understand that we'd been chosen, that the crystals wanted us to possess them. The strange woman was right. She knew the crystals' power. That's why she wanted them. But we told her nothing. When she left, Father dropped the crystals back into the well. But they sang to me told me to kill him and rescue them. Their voices are so beautiful. Let's see, your course is broken. Let me see. I... I... Oh, Father Ritter, what have I done? I never meant anyone harm. Especially not the Father. Please. You must help me destroy the crystals. Stop the corruption. My whistle may help you find them. I use it to speak to the crystals. Sing to them. I am not a bad man. Just a weak one. I will pay for this sin for the rest of my life. However long I wish that to be. Get out of here. Okay, so maybe it's time for me to exit. Okay, the last crystal should be around this little island. Let's see. Uh, nope, not here. Huh, let me go use the whistle that the guy gave me. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Now, I just need to go back to Howlin's the White. And then I'll complete the mission. Okay, the next side mission, there's a seal stack. Now, I need to return to that guy and give him the plant. Huh. What is this? Ooh, I found the item that I need to get. Okay, this is where I need to go hunt down the bounties, but let's see. There's a dead body. Oh, there's bounties! Come on. Okay, now that I've dealt with the bounties, time to return the guy and get the reward. Okay, I am back in Split Walk Depths and I'm supposed to find the blood of someone on this side. So hopefully he's still alive. If it's not, then I have to give the other blood the bad news. So let's go look for him. Okay, there he is and... Oh no, he's dead. Bottle Pelic has perished while on his personal expedition quest of split walk depths. On his body is a general journal de detailing what happened. Yeah, but I'll take it and go tell the bottle the bad news. Yeah, I have bad news to tell you. Pray my ears deceive me then. <sighs> so it is true. The doubt in the back of my mind that was clawing its way forward is now here upon me. Thank you. Now, now I won't have to wonder any longer. Go in peace, child, and leave me to my prayers. May me thorough bless Father Retair. So, 
There was indeed a group of brownies attacking those on the trail to Detir. Well, here is the reward I promised for taking care of them. Still, it is strange that brownies would act in such a way. I wonder. I've heard of something that could make them act that aggressively, but it can't be here. We must go to Rundamir. It is the largest brownie den in the Shi. I'm sure we will find the answer there. Hmm, okay. Make sure you are prepared. Brownies may look weak, but they are ferocious in large numbers. After you are ready, head south. Rundamir is a fey hollow on the edge of the Shi. I will meet you there. We're going to Rundamir to find out why the brownies have been ambushing people in the Shi. Another time, then. A seer stock. I cannot believe it. Here is your reward. You more than deserve it. I shall administer this to Luca at once. The seer stock should make quick work of the venom. Farewell. Oh, I got another side mission. Thank you, stranger. Our house tells me if it were not for you, I would not have recovered. I am not accustomed to such injury. Usually, I am more than capable of taking care of myself. I have no desire to encounter that thresh again. Do not make that claim lightly, for a thresh is not something so easily overcome. In truth, I killed someone at dress already. Knowing the thresh has been removed. Please reconsider, for though I wish to see an end put to this creature, I would not risk your life or that of any other. I'm not scared. I already killed some of the stress a few episodes ago. I will tell you where I encountered it, but go with care, for I have no desire to send you to your death. The Thresh attacked me in the eastern she, south of the river. Normally, I would ask that you reconsider such a dangerous pursuit, but... Because you are insistent, I shall tell you this. The Thresh is in the Eastern Shi, south of the river. Later then. Good. Okay, there's a dress and he is surrounded by his minions. Let's go kill it. Kill it. I told you it was easy. Now, time to go back and tell Luca the good news. Okay, now. Good. You made it. It is as I feared. A Crudduck has made its lair at the bottom of this hollow. We will need to find it and kill it. What's a Crudduck? The Crudduck is sending the brownies of Rundamir out to collect corpses for it to feed on. That is the reason they've been ambushing wayfarers in the Shi. We must find it and destroy it. Be okay. It. Let's see, it should be around here. Okay, what's... Okay, I contest the disease to be cured, eat a visit a healer, or drink the cure disease poison. Ah, oh, man, are you serious? What kind of disease did I get? Well, I'm not gonna go to the healer right now because. I'm a little busy with this mission. So I don't know what disease I got. I'll just tough it up.
Okay, there it is. Brownies should cease their ambushes and the trail to Detir will be safe again. Thank you for your help. I would not have been able to defeat the monster on my own. Goodbye. Well, looks like I'm done with this side mission. Now, time to get out of here and time for me to get rid of the disease I got. Good news, I got rid of the creature. You are a force to be reckoned with. It's not easy to defeat such a vicious monster. Please. Take this reward. My heart will no longer be filled with dread when I venture into the she. Farewell. Leave it to Hallam the White and his pet to expose my plans. You will regret ever joining the House of Ballads. Um. Okay, where are the crystals? You'll have to try better than that, beloved. I keep secrets for a reason. I wanted the mission's crystals, but the marshal and his boy would not cooperate. But I always find a way to get what I desire. Don't we all? Okay, what you do with the king? Winston is with me, and he will stay with me until I deem it fit to return him. If the House of Ballads wishes to have its king, it must send its greatest warrior. Since I have all of them, that leaves you. Come. I wish to collect you as well. I will be waiting. And she left. So let me go talk to you. This is not just about the court anymore. You have roused the maid's interest. And it is clear she wishes to add you to her collection. We must do as she commands. But we will be prudent in how we proceed. This ballad. The champion is one to be undertaken with great caution. So, Sagril, are you ready to make the preparations and depart? Now is the time. Huh? I'm ready now. Then it is time. You are the last knight of the House of Balor. You represent all that we've been through, all that we are, in this telling and all those to come there is little you can do to prepare for the journey ahead but take another resurrection potion like the one you used to save Ferrara you may need it this is all I can offer you the rest of the story is yours to tell one can always find what is sought if the desire is strong enough venture northeast of the house of ballads and you will find your way. You are our last hope, Sagro. Okay, this is where I'm supposed to go meet up with that crazy fairy maid. You've come. Wise. Wiser than those other fools in the House of Ballads. It is their inability to see beyond themselves that has brought them to this end. This is my realm, and any who seek to cross it must first face my challenges. The Wall of Thorns awaits. As it is in the telling, so it will be for you. Only a true knight of the House of Ballads may pass beyond the Wall. And every true knight needs armor. Tell me, beloved, are your tales worth a minstrel's breath? Or are you just dust waiting to fall? Okay, I'm guessing I need to go locate the armor and... Should be right there.
Okay, I wonder why they're fighting about. Hey, stop fighting. Uh, come on. Okay, now. Look with his breath. Hallam White has sent his right hand to tear at Our Lady's good name. You are interrupting a duel for the ages. There can only be one Windermere champion, and it shall be me. Of course, Kreth has never been one to concede gracefully. Need our armor? Is this a jest? You will never impress the maid. She is only interested in true knights of the realm. Perhaps you can help us choose the Grell. Kreth and I were just fighting over who should be the maid's true champion. Unless you believe yourself worthy of such an honor. Then by all means challenge one of us to a duel. The prize, your sought-after armor. Okay, then I'll fight you. Indeed. I must confess. This was the outcome I desired. Shall we? Okay, that's three against one. That's not fair. Come on. And he's dead. Do I have to put on the armor or... Wait, let me go to the other opponent that I just killed Oli. Oh, his dead body disappeared. Okay, hope this works. Oh, it opens. Okay, let's see. I wonder if I could change my weapons back. Let's see. Before I move on... Gonna go stop and take a break. So in the next episode, I'm gonna go walk across here and hopefully I'm gonna battle against that crazy fairy maid. So until next time, this is Anime Game on Taco 95.